Hello, my most amazing artists. How are you today? Ready to create. Awesome. Let's get started. Each week during art class, we're going to have a word of the week. This is going to be a special word that is the focus for the lesson. Today, the word of the week is line. When you hear me say the word of the week, I want you to give me a little whoop whoop. Let's give it a try. The word of the week is lime. Whoop 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 whoop. Hmm. I don't know about that. Let's try that one more time. The word of the week is lime. Whoop whoop whoop. That sounds better. Now you be sure to listen every time you hear the word of the week and you can give that a little whoop whoop when you hear it so you can remember what it is. Now, line is an element of art. A line is a dot that went for a walk. Lines can express emotion, create depth, or define a space. There are many different kinds of lines. You can have a straight line, a curved line, a wavy line, a zigzag line, dotted line, spiral line, a scalloped line, and a dash line. I bet you could think of a few others. Today, we are going to use the element of art known as line to create a really cool design using your name and inspired by the artist Joseph Amadokpo. He is a contemporary artist and he creates a lot of really cool, great, colorful pieces. Let's take a look at them. Joseph Amadokpo was born in 1946. That makes him 74 years old. He is known as a contemporary artist because he is still living. He was born in Vogan, Toga, which is a country in West Africa. Africa is one big continent made up of 54 countries. And you can see Toga is right next to Nigeria, very, very tiny, right next to it. Joseph Amadokpo uses bright colors and abstract shapes and designs. He actually works with oil paint on recycled flower sacks. Themes in his artwork are from African tradition and culture. You can see here how big his pictures are. In 2008, he received worldwide recognition when he was selected by Dell to design laptop covers. I absolutely love his use of a line and shape. And there's a lot there that we can be inspired by to create our artworks. What we're gonna do is I want you to click on to the next link to follow along with me and get started on this project. Remember, when you're finished your assignment, you're going to click the link for the Google form and be sure to fill that out. And then you can decide if you'd like to share your artwork with me. There are a few ways that you can do that through email or social media, or maybe you want to give Flipgrid a try. Those of you who have tried it, you have received a personal message from me. I am so excited to be able to communicate with you that way. So if you can give it a shot, go ahead and do that. All you have to do is go to flipgrid.com and then you use your school, either Aston or Parkside, and then you can put a uh, Aston Art for or Parkside Art for, and that will get you right into our Flipgrid. And there will be a question, there's a question from last week's assignment, and then of course there's a question for this week's assignment. I can't wait to see what you're working on, so please don't forget to share. 